this is for KJ first. You know, first half, you guys 10 to six, and then you come out in the third quarter and you hit some big passes and you, you get a couple touchdowns. Just And you made some big plays passing that run. What did you think of the big plays, especially in the third quarter that really got you guys some cushion there? I mean, the first half, I mean, we didn't get the start that we wanted to. Uh, we hit a, a couple big plays, a couple big runs we had, but we didn't finish in, 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 in the end zone. So, and then coming out second half, I mean, we knew uh, what they was giving us, so we just wanted to be aggressive in the passing game, and that's what we did. Okay, what what did you think of what you guys did in the third quarter, and you know, KJ hitting some big plays to to you and Davion, and um, I just feel like you know we came out, we adjusted, and we came out and played fast, you know, like we like we were supposed to do, and um, you know, we made big plays down the field, made big plays for him and the team, and. You know, got a good win. You know, Missouri won five in a row in this series. So you guys ended that streak just like you know, the A&M streak and right. uh, the LSU streak. And just what you think about uh, Sam points out, no, no player on the team had any of those trophies. And now you all got all three. What, what do you both think about that? Maybe, KJ, you can take that first. I mean, it's just a motivational thing coming into this uh, this whole week, uh, knowing that Coach Odom, uh, that game meant a lot to him. And also it's his birthday, too, so. And just chasing history. I mean, nobody here have had the three, uh, three trophies. So just knowing that we got that, I mean, it's a memorable, memorable thing, and uh, we just cherish it for life. I would just piggy off of him. You know, um, it means a lot to this team and this um, this state to have all three trophies, and just to go out there and put our play our hearts out for the Arkansas Nation. Hey, Jay, yeah. Coach Pittman talked about how you've grown as a leader during the season. You know, each game. Talk about how comfortable you are now being kind of the voice of the offensive leader. And, and of course, it helps to have a guy like that throw to over there. But talk about that. Uh, just, I mean, looking up to those guys like uh, Bumper, Grant, Hayden, uh, just the veterans in the group. I mean, just looking up to those guys and, and they just instilling knowledge in me and just watching how they just go about their day and how they express their feelings on the field and off the field. I mean, at practice also. So just taking a little bit of that, each and every just piece and adding to my collection, just being able to come out of my shell and just being uh, confident and talking to the team. Yes, Trillin, what did you, what was more enjoyable for you, the long touchdown catch or the option pitch to, to oh, rock the it? option, no doubt. <clears throat> you know, show my boy how to really do it, <laughs> score a touchdown. But no, uh, it just felt good just to go out there and, you know, run that play. You know, we've worked it throughout the week really hard and to actually get the run in and it worked, you know, it means a lot. Could you put Traylon's season into perspective? I think he went over 100 yards receiving for the sixth time in 12 games. Awesome. I mean, just one word is just awesome. I mean, just being able to get the ball to a guy like this in space or double cover, triple cover, I mean, just knowing that he, he'll make a play. I mean, as long as the ball in his area, he'll make a play. And just how hard he works and how hard he puts the team first. I mean, he's not a selfish player at all. He always focuses on how we can get better, how the team can get better. Just holding him accountable, he holding me accountable, just knowing that I have a player like him on the outside, on the inside, just give me a huge advantage. Traylon, you made a little bit of history today. How much do those kind of records mean to you, or how much do you actually think about those? Uh, I'm not even going to lie to you. I really didn't know, like, most of them. You know, I just go out there and play for the team. But, you know, it means a lot just to know that I did break some of those records and then set some of those records because, I mean, I came here just to – play football and have fun with my teammates like him and make the um, university proud. So it's just on. honor. What did you think of the the play of Davion Warren today? He had a couple of big plays and, you know, this is his last last home game. Uh, just, I mean, when Coach Carter, I mean, he, I mean, I knew I was confident and he was confident as well. He just told him, just, just give me the ball and I'll I make a play. So that was just the main thing going into it. Just make sure I got him the ball and let him do what he do. And I mean, the uh, first play I threw to him, the little screen play I seen he took, I thought he was going to score. But, uh, I mean, it was amazing knowing that, I mean, we just put that play in this week and he got, you know what I'm saying, big production out, uh, off of it. So knowing that for, going forward into the season or into the ball game, that we can also have that play in, install. Hey, so you go on the injury, Ted, at one point, saw you on the bike, you look like you were limping a little bit. Not when you were running, like, during the game, but maybe when you were running downfield after you guys made a big game. But, um I assume you must have had to play through some pain. Kind of how'd you deal with all that today? I mean, just being tough. I mean, physically and mentally tough. I mean, I had got banged up on the plate and uh my back was kind of uh tightened up. I'm kind of spazzing on him. So just and then he came up, he came up to me like, you know what I'm saying? We need you like this this point where you need to show your leadership right here and uh put a team on your back and carry us to a victory. So having him in my ear like that, and I just knew like I had to go out here and just 
made the state proud. And you know I mean, just the only thing was on my mind was chasing history and getting those three trophies. Trail, we, we all know, you know, the NFL teams are pretty high on you. Did, did, Today, did you allow yourself to look around at all and think this possibly could be your last home game, kind of taking some extra things, or was that – did that even cross your mind? No, sir. Not at all. You know, I was just going out there to play football, get a big win, you know, uh, make it to a big bowl game. I think you're number two now on the season receiving yards just behind Kobe, and <clears throat> I don't have it all in front of me, but I think if you have a, a good bowl game, you could you could be number one. Well, what, what what do you think? You're only the third guy to get a thousand yards. Kobe and Jerry Shrye, pretty pretty good company. Right. And then um, you'd have a shot to finish the season on as a top guy. What, what do you think of that? Um, you know, I really don't really think about it that much. I just want to go out there and play for my team. You know, get a good win at the bowl. So. And then Paige just referenced you. <laughs> you came over to him and sort of, you know, said, "Hey, you gotta, you know, you gotta lead the team." Uh, could you kind of describe your thought process on that? Just what 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 you Think of the job he did today. Um, you know, he he came out there, he played his heart out for us. Um, and then when he went down, you know, I knew he was hurting. But, you know, it, it's just like when I'm hurting, he'll come to me and tell me, you know, I, I need you right here. We need you right here. So, you know what I'm saying? He put me on his back. I put him on my back. You know, we just go out there and play for each other in this team. Last one, Ed. Traylon, how, how are you feeling physically? I know you were limping <laughs> off the field there early and, and you've been beat up pretty much all year. How are you feeling? Um, you know, I, I feel... I feel good enough to, you know, go out there and play. So I'm going to keep doing that. Thanks, fellas.